Where is my golden shower? <laughs> what? Welcome back to the second episode ever of Battle of the Gallery, where we're reviewing your cars. Don't break your table, please. It's fresh, it's new, it's clean, and it's mean. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, today, we have Evo versus STI, where we're reviewing cars in our gallery but we put them head to head in the YouTube community, all right? all right? We had the people vote. We're gonna be trying to figure out what our audience thinks is better. Is it the STI or is it the Evo? If you want your car reviewed in evo.com forward slash ad. And then if you really are, you're dead set on getting it in there, shoot us an email at shop at fitministries.com with the headline, review my ride in a smiley face, and then put three number threes in there, just three, three, three. Uh, I like confusing customer service why they get a bunch of messages like that. So let's hop right into this and start checking out these cars. <clears throat> All you right. Ready for those gels? Yeah, so first up, we got our Subaru here. So this is a 2005 Subaru WRX STI. Blah blah blah. I, I think the blah blah is my favorite personally. I agree with that. Advan RGDs, 19 by nine plus 25. We got a Hankook Ventus uh, tire setup, 225, 35, all seeing some air lift performance, air oh, suspension. All right, baby, let's so go. This is uh, MKS STI's 2005, and then Rad Chad Trinidad Photography. <laughs> That's a dope name. So uh, negative five and a half degrees Ooh. of camber in the rear, negative four and a half degrees of camber in the front, no rubbing, no scrubbing, fenders rolled and pulled, oh. front end tubed and framed notch. Tubbed and tubbed, framed notch. Not tubed. You know, tube the old, tube you, yeah, that's what no. the, nope. <laughs> no fender liners and rear fender. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we got good that part. <laughs> no fender liners and fender harness tucked and relocated. All right, so custom taillights, charge speed, carbon fiber rear window vane, Voltex carbon fiber rear diffuser, city cruiser carbon fiber rear trunk lip, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. See, I love this. So some carbon fiber dope. stuff. I'm a little nervous about how much oh. camber this man's running okay. because I, I think our audience doesn't dig the whole stancy boy look a yeah, ton. Yeah, and he's running like a really tucked setup too. I think it looks so, and I'm not normally a fan Yeah, I was gonna tucks. say, that's surprising, yeah, okay. I'm more of a fender to lip guy, but I don't know, tuck setups have been growing on me a little oh, bit. Ooh, though. the tail lights I really like. I like the little lip. Yeah. Interesting to see a STI without the STI wing. You went with the, the little whoop, little oh. whoop. <laughs> so I think the tail lights are super dope. I like the contrast of the wheel color to the body color. Yeah. I think that looks dope. Going for a tucked fitment and obviously he's frame notched and tub. So he was just going for as low as he possibly could. Yeah. So I get the tucked fitment because he's practically laying the diffuser on the ground and then that front bumper is on the ground. Completely. 19s too. That's oh, 19s. Yeah, I didn't even realize that when you're reading it Ooh, off. Okay. Ooh, he's got some goodies in the engine bay. Okay. I, I'm really digging this thing. I'm not a huge fan of the, the hella horns or like the horns in the front. I yeah. think those are starting to get a little played out, you know what I mean? Mm. They don't look bad. It's just, I, I'm kind of. Yeah. It's kind of, you just, it's something it's expected. It's the twin turbos. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got the grocery list on the side. Gotta <laughs> love that. Overall, yeah, I think this is pretty solid. I like the looks of this thing. What do you think, Gels? Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know how I feel about the tuck setup. Obviously, like the 19s, I feel like you have to do that. Otherwise, it's gonna, even when you air out, like if you do like a fender to lip on 19s on these cars, like it's gonna sit really high yet, I feel like. So uh, I feel like that's why he did go with the tuck fitment, kind of like what we did for the E30 in the rear, because otherwise they just have like that kind of rake to them. Yep, right. So, um, so I can see why. It's different though. I, I'm, I'd have to say I've never That's really seen an like, STI I like, like it, that. It looks a bit different than like what all the other yeah. STI guys do, which I res I respect. And then I, like I said in the beginning, I really like the blob eyes. I think that's my favorite mm -hmm. year of STI. But yeah, I agree. Giles, it's not about what we like. I know. What this do you think the YouTube community think. voted here? So that was 2005 WRX STI compared to a 2006 oh, Mitsubishi. Lancer Revolution on some Enki RPF1s, 18 oh. by 10 and a half plus 15. All right, Hankook Ventus tires, 285, 30 on some Fortune Auto Coilovers. So pretty much like the complete the opposite. opposite. It's almost like standard build for style. Again, yeah. But, uh, yeah, obviously this is a much more functional setup. Sure. Okay, and we do have some over fenders on this bad boy too. S. Dot Brewers. S. Dot Brewer, thank you. So this is his uh, Evo. Uh, pulled front fenders, 25 millimeters, and has a 30 millimeter over fender in the rear. They say pulled the front ones, 25 mil. How the hell? Or like, I know some cars you can put like fender spacers in. I oh, like maybe. More okay. Photos. So yeah, over fender, wide body, nothing. Rear wheel spacers, quarter inch spacer in the rear. Um, factory camber, so not, nothing really dialed in there. 
I like those rear over fenders. They, they're really subtle. I like his license plate, never like. So yeah, I think that like what you're talking yeah, about there. Yeah, it looks like yep. it's kind of like a okay. fender spacer. That's in interesting. There. Yeah, I don't know, like it doesn't look bad, but yeah. it's kind of. Overall, this is a super clean example of an Evo. Um, like a functionality standpoint, I like the rear over fender. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of a cool like way to wide body, but kind of keep the stock body looks like. It's very subtle in the rear, and then obviously the front is just a spacer. Gotcha. Um, I don't mind the looks of it. And then yeah. I like I like the meats on the RPF ones and the Fortunatos is a great choice. So obviously- Yeah, I the setup uh, itself is really solid. Yeah, the I think he's driving the car pretty hard. The only thing I think people are gonna roast about this car is the fact that it's on RPF one. That's what I was gonna say. RPF ones are overplayed. It's cause they're so, they look so good and they're so yeah. light, bro. They look yeah. good on everything. Um, so now, man, it's so tough because now the question arises too. This is tough. Is our community more Subaru owners or more, more Evo? Because they might even just vote for brand loyalty That's over true. what car they actually I do like know, more. I do know the answer to this. I do too. Yeah. But we don't know how many are on it's gonna the take community. A, it's gonna take a for I'm gonna take it into Because I think you're using the gallery here in your mind of how it's many. More than gallery. More? Oh yeah. What else? Other things. Like what? You know those little cameras on the top of your laptops? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> You're watching me or what? <laughs> I'm watching you. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Alright, Charles, what do you think about this? <laughs> You're freaking me out. I like it. Um, I think it's a really solid example of the Evo. I always love this uh, generation of these cars too. Always wanted one. Um, I think the over fenders in the rear look really good. I'm not sure about the, the whole front setup. Like it's a little different. Like apparently that's a thing. I, I'd never heard of that before, honestly. Um, but overall it looks like it looks pretty clean. I love the like aggressive, like wheel tire setup for it though. Mm -hmm. Like I think that fitment looks really good. It's a very aggressive flush fitment. It's got a good size tire on it. You're looking at 285, 30 on a 10 and a half. Like that's pretty. The thing is, though, it is great. It's a solid car. It's clean, mm -hmm. but there's nothing that really like jumps out at you. Right. Like it's kind of like another mm -hmm. Evo, which isn't a bad thing. It's still a great looking car, very functional. But I, I'm honestly kind of thinking the Subaru. It is on air. There is a lot of negative camber. All right, Steve, give us a countdown. All right, and in three, two, one. Subaru. I, I switched it up last time. I know, you said it again. <laughs> I'm going with the Subaru. Alrighty. I know that like when it comes to the gallery and stuff like that, literally Subaru is like way, way I know, I know. up There's there. Way more. I think though the community is going to go for the, the function setup. Sure. They, it's got the RPF ones, I know, but I think they like that. God, this is what purpose. screwed me last time too. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What are the facts? What happened? All right. Let's let's have it. I don't. I've got Twinkies sitting here. I don't know what this means. All right. So, yeah. the Evo came in at sixty nine percent, and the Subaru came in at thirty one. <laughs> that math don't add up. I'm just kidding. It does. <laughs> it definitely adds up. I know. All right. So what's what's Failed the challenge? Math. All right. What's so the, the challenge is yet again, Dakota. You get to pick one of two options. <laughs> Gels can either eat a Twinkie off of the top of the engine of the E30, <laughs> or he can eat one off the top of Max's head. Oh. Why does everything involve my mouth? <laughs> oh man, it's so good. So either way, they're both gonna be greased. <laughs> All right. I think the community loves, they've seen the E30, but I think they want to see Max. No! <laughs> Here, all right, Max, come on, camera oh, boy. Oh, no. Camera boy, not no, F5, no, get in no, here. Y'all no, 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 no. eat a Twinkie <laughs> off your head. This is the dumbest. <laughs> you gotta quit losing, bro. Oh my God. Can Here, we, uh... See, you want to take a seat? I gotta stop going. Rip to the editor. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled like it was burning. All right, here, I will do the honors. Uh, what, what is, I'm so lost. Max, I'm so sorry, but I need you to remove your hat. No. Yep. I can't no. Do that. You have to. This is, no. 
Can we get a few hairs in there? No. Well, here, don't grease it up, brother. I took a shower today. <laughs> this is, this is strange. Okay. This, this is, is battle of the gallery, all right? Like, to, can I like pick it off of there here, at least? No. No, no. Nope, no hands. No hands. Right. I would, here, I'll double check. Wait. Come on, gel free. Why? <laughs> Cause you're the loser, bro. All right, Max, I'm so sorry about this. Oh. Here, hurry up, this is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Eat the Twinkie, bro. Eat the Twinkie on camera. <laughs> is it good at least? I haven't had Twinkie in a long time. <laughs> I haven't had Twinkie in a long time either. But that about wraps this episode up of Battle of the Gallery. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any challenges you want the loser to do, drop them in the comments below. And then make sure to tune in the YouTube community where you get to vote for the cars that Gels gets to get wrong. So, if you want your car added, fitministries.com forward slash add. Wheels, tire, suspension, fitministries.com. We'll see you guys later. Undefeated. I'm very defeated at this point. <laughs>